In bad economic times, it makes no sense to eliminate reasons to stay in your city. Uh, it makes no sense to eliminate reasons to move to your city. The more art, the more dance, the more theater, uh, the more cultural interest a location has, the more people will be drawn to it, the more people will be interested in taking care of it and caring for it. We generated about $1.34 million of art for this building, and it was has sort of manifested itself in, in two programs. One is a three lead artist program, which is Larry Kirkland, uh, Don Lipsky and Robert Morasi, and then we had a dozen floors that we put uh, art on each floor and the elevator cores. It's essentially four different, uh, four different themes in the building, all centered around a core mission or a core idea about the building. Janice was a two-headed god and had one head that looked to the future and one that looked to the past. And in, in the middle of those two concepts, being aware of the past and looking into the future, is the symbol of truth. Uh, and in construction, the plumb bob is what helps you find what is true, which is another word for plumb. And it was um, built by uh, Larry Kirkland, who's an artist from Washington, D.C. Um, he's also the artist that did the pieces in the atrium. It's based on the same, same concepts. It's the plumb bob. And the plumb bob, in this instance, hangs over a surveyor's target. Uh, and the surveyor's target hangs directly above the, an aerial view of the Civic Center map. So if you look straight down the plumb bob through the surveyor's target, it points to the very center of the city, which is the Civic Center Park. Donald Lipsky is an artist who, through his entire career, has created uh, sculptures from found or everyday objects. So when you see a fireman and you see a fire helmet, you start to associate the, 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 those objects with the job. You start to identify particular objects with the kind of work that they do, the tools that they do. We can be recognized by the clothes we wear, by the tools we use, uh, and ultimately by the contribution that we make to the city. And as you look at Donald Lipsky's wall, as you spend your day, you start to say, you know, I'm on that wall. Something that I do is on that wall. That's, that's a symbol of what I do for a living. Robert Morassi is an artist um, from Portland, Oregon, and he was hired to address Macintosh Park and the exterior of the building. So he looked at stone as this building block. How are we going to take, how do we, uh, in general, build cities by taking rough materials and shaping them into an image of ourselves? In the elevator cores, which would be sort of the, the fourth element to this, which is made up of multiple artists, we looked at the geological striations of rock, and we viewed each floor in the building like a slice of that uh, striated rock, and that each one is a little bit different. And the artists were asked to respond to that same mission that the other, the main artist did. And what we got was a, a sort of a wonderful combination of artists. We've got sculptors, we have uh, people that have used photography, uh, collage, painting, heavy bas relief in concrete and steel, tile work. Those were uh, developed, uh, proposed um, by Elaine Shiramazoo, who is a great designer from Denver. And her concept was, you know, let's take these opportunities to make some statements about this entire concept. Whether you like them or not, art is a 50-50 deal. Um, in my book, if it's worth going to take a look to decide whether you like it or not, is, is whether it's a success or not. It does, you don't have to love it. You just have to be curious enough to go see it.